You all know we're in the thick of hurricane season and you can never really be too prepared when it comes to something like this. I mean, we're talking everything from flashlights to first aid kits to pet food, medication, and important documents. I know, it sounds like a lot, right? Well, it is, but it doesn't have to be hard. I spoke with a professional organizer and she has some tips for us. I really think it's key to get the systems in place, get your kit prepared. It, it only takes a few minutes a day. In the event of an emergency, you're not having to run to stores when they're crowded. Right. You don't have to um, scrounge around trying to find the contents that you need. So let's go over some of the things you have on the table there. Um, we'll start with the safe that you have. But this is grab and go. Yeah. Nice little handle, it locks. Um, really, I recommend this in general, but um, this will hold your insurance documents, your copies of your IDs, deed to your home, all mm -hmm. these important, very important documents that yeah. you're gonna need in case of evacuation. Got it, and so, so let's move kind of down the table. So what's after that? So I have these separate bags that are separated somewhat into categories. So for example, this, is, this holds all the flashlights, glow sticks, lighters, matches, candles. Um, We've got whistles, paper, and pens in this yeah. bag. So I kind of just compartmentalize mm -hmm. inside of the bin. Do you find that that is really, you know, a, a great part for organizing because then they can personalize it, you know, the people that use your services because not everyone may need the same things, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It is never a one-size-fits-all. Mm -hmm. I mean, when it comes to hurricane preparedness, yeah, there's a lot of similarities, yeah. but depending on the layout of your home, depending right. on how your systems are already in place in your home, whether they work or not, mm -hmm. yes, this can certainly be tailored to, I mean, maybe you want a smaller bin and you just want right. to thing separately. So yeah, it's definitely um, workable to what works best in your space. Definitely. So I see you have some cleaning products there and that isn't something that I would automatically think of putting in my kit. Bleach is going to help sanitize your spaces. You can actually even treat the water um, with the bleach and just regular thing, you yeah. know, things we take for granted right. that aren't so easy when you're in an emergency situation. And last up, I see you have a first aid kit. That is something that everyone should have just in general, maybe during hurricane season, get a couple of those, do you think? Yes, I, I definitely, definitely suggest keeping one in your kit make sure too because these are things that we use on a regular basis yeah. okay go through your first aid kit make sure it has all the staples mm -hmm. the band-aids the creams yeah even medicine tylenol advil whatever make sure it's stocked because you don't want to have an emergency and then find out you have no band-aids in yeah, your first kit, definitely. So. And so another way that you help um, when it comes to hurricane preparedness um, is you have a checklist that people should go through. I do, and it's just a really nice, easy, clean, you can just go through when you're at the store even if you have to purchase some of these things. So maybe go through your house, find out what you have, get it, get it in your kit, whatever you're missing, take this list to the store, check it off as you go. Make sure you head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net, to catch this again.